Yeah, Krista, I'm told this is the first time anybody has ever tried to do a project like this without government assistance or a court order. But I talked to the man in charge today and he says he's been planning this project for nearly 15 years. When Charles Rhines bought the Star Mill hydroelectric plant last year, it hadn't produced electricity in 10 years. I've been called crazy and a few other things. People said he was out of his mind. He admits the purchase was full of risk. Oh, the, my neck's been on the line for a very long time on this whole project. But he had a plan, a big plan many did not want to be a part of. Ryan wants to bring the plant back to life. But before he can, he has to dredge the Yawn River and remove silt from the riverbed. Multi-phased, multi-product, and multi-year process. And once this begins, it should never stop. Rhines just started digging up the 400,000 tons of material that lies under the Yawn River. And now he plans to sell it. Really, this big project is just a new way to recycle. Rhines will take all of this runoff material that came from local farmers and collect it at the bottom of the Yawn River. He'll then sell it back to farmers to use as fertilizer. Rhines says the silt is full of nutrients and costs less than chemical fertilizer. It's far better than the best name brand you can think of, and it'll be quite a bit cheaper. Rhines has paid out of pocket to dredge, but hopes to sell enough silt to fund the project. He says the whole point is to make this project self-sufficient. The combination of everything coming together allows this to, to actually take place. Once the riverbed is clear, Ryan says he can reopen the hydro plant and provide energy at the lowest cost possible. I've never seen or heard of anything going on, any activity that is this encompassed, this scope, this magnitude. The dredging will take about a year to complete, but the silt is ready to be bought and picked up right now. Now, the power plant won't be finished for about another two years, but when it is done, Rhines tells me it could bring more jobs to the area. Reporting live along the Yawn River, Rachel Glazer, ABC 57 News.